This is our 12 volt battery. Here is our Mastec multimeter which is set by amps. And here our three LED lights that is in parallel mode right now. You can see all positive, all negative together. So we check now the amps. Here you can see the amps is draw of that 12 volt LED in parallel 1.3 amps. I'm holding here the multimeter is connected into the series. So 1.375 amps is draw by that LED from this 12 volt battery. Now we connect this buck bus module, this one, this one we connect and then we see how much is the difference come out. And now we connecting the battery input into the buck bus module, the all LEDs in a series in output on this one series because this is 12 volt we set the output voltage on to 36 volt. So we have to test how much current it will draw from the battery. And now you can see the battery is connected in the with the buck post module and I'm holding this multimeter in the series with the battery. The current is draw 1.326. Okay. Before direct from the battery 1.375 and now we are from from this battery then we are giving input into this buck post module output on that leds on set on 36 volts so our current draw is 1.326 now the third test we do and now we are in the this is our final we are now connecting our multimeter on this buck bus module output on the series set on to 36 volt. The current is draw 0 0.412 amps. The first one direct from the battery 1.375 then from battery and between the buck bus module 1.326 and now we are on the final here is the input of the buck push module here this one okay voltage in voltage out here this is our 12 volt leds in the series set on to 36 volt our multimeter in the series and here this is the final current draw 0 0.412 so now we calculate here is the result when we connect our lights direct to the battery the 12 volt battery the three leds that one the led lights in the series draw current 1.375 then the second test we did the battery was 12 volt and that three leds was in the series connected output from the buck bus module and the buck push module was connected to the battery we was in the middle okay our battery input was here we was connect here our multimeter and the result was 12 volt and 1.326 amps was draw the final test what we did that was current draw from the buck push module okay this is our battery that direct connected to the input and then the output was 36 volt set and we connect our multimeter in the series and that was our final current draw so here here the first when you connect direct parallel the uh, lights this one parallel so your current draw was 16.5 watts okay volt time amps then the second we give the input voltage and then we connect to the uh, volt time amps so we was a still 12 volt input that was our current draw in the middle okay from battery to buck push module so we was getting 15.912 watt okay the difference is come out right the difference is come or 1.66 watt is coming okay the last one when we connect the battery to the buck push module input then we get output to the lights so our voltage was 36 and our amp draw was uh, 0.412 amps okay that was our uh, current uh, draw from the uh, from the battery 
and here we can see our wattage is go 14.83 so if you use direct your battery okay you getting a 16 watt draw from your 12 volt battery but if you connect the buck boost module you can save 1.66 watt in the series of the led that is our saving that the thing what i want to save and that wattage is come from where that is come from here from this one do you understand what's that that is inductor that is ferrite core transformer of course when the pulse go of the volts here in this coil and when the switches get off okay that magnetic field what was generated here when it's collapsed it turned back again to the current okay so that is the that is the main stuff what i want to uh, tell you if you connect your battery direct to the lights you gonna drain your battery very fast but if you connect your battery through the buck boost module and you give a input voltage 12 and let little bit help get from this inductor okay so you will get the extra voltage and little bit extra m so your wire will not get hot your battery wire will never never get hot it will never drain fast course the result is here okay we can save almost 1.66 watts so that is the reason i i check that system in the very high efficient very expensive street lights the outdoor the solar street light they using that parameter they connect the 24 volt battery they put the 48 volt bus bus module and then they use the 48 48 volt led module that is the reason they increasing the current and less the amperage less the amperage fix the amperage the led will never get hot i will show you why need driver for this leds okay that test was for that and that was the answer who saying it's not gonna work so when we put this one this magnetic field will go where answer if you know this one Thank you.